Good morning, Dennis. How are you? I'm great. Thank How's you uh, for inviting me down to see your awesome place again. It's great to see you. I've known Mike for many, many years in the basically muscle cars, yeah. uh, some sports cars, but he is now Vice President of Consignments with Eric Jackson. Yeah. You've been there for a while. I have. Uh, just over six years now. Time flies when you're having a good time, you know? You see a lot of changes. Absolutely, I have. All right, so the reason for Mike's visit is he likes to come in and check out what we have consigned. Yeah. We want to tell you guys about the three that we're taking to New Orleans this year for the inaugural sale in New Orleans, right? Absolutely, yeah. First time in New Orleans, uh, very excited about it. Our, uh, our, our bidders are very excited about going to New Orleans. They love Barrett Jackson, they love uh, the party environment, and nothing better than New Orleans for that type of, uh, type of environment. That food. Oh, yeah. Great food down there. I gotta watch the food though. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta factor that in. I do, I do. Yes, <laughs> right. yes. Well, I think we got three great cars. Yeah. I've sent you the pictures of them, but you haven't seen them. You guys grab your cup of joe and let's go check them out. All right, Mike, first one up is 70 LS5 Corvette convertible. Yeah, beautiful car, Dennis. And this, this uh, Corvette is a lot 430. So it's gonna be selling on Friday afternoon okay. at uh, New Orleans. Uh, super excited for you. So what do you, what do you think the time slots are gonna be? Because I know they're gonna be different to Scottsdale. Yeah, so by design in New Orleans, look, we understand. People go down to Crescent City, they wanna go have a good time. They wanna go out at night hang out on Bourbon Street, do this thing. So by design, we're starting the auction at about noon. Okay. Every day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start at lot 300 on Friday okay. at noon. Your car being 4.30, it's gonna run late afternoon, probably say, you know, ballpark yet, around four o'clock. So you guys get up so you don't miss part of the sale. For sure. So what's cool about this car, it is numbers matching. LS5, of course, 390 horse. But what's special about this car, it's got a lot of options for a big block car. Yeah. One, it's an automatic. We used to hurt them, but it doesn't hurt them anymore, does it? Not at all. You know, what we're finding in the marketplace is everybody loves the four speeds, right? But more and more people that are entering the hobby, it's a lot of work for a lot of people to drive. They like to be able to get in them, drive them, automatic, it opens it up. They want to let their kids take it out. They don't have to teach them how to drive a four speed nowadays. Yep. Uh, you know, their wives or even guys just want to jump in and want to go for a cruise, easy cruise. And the know? majority of these cars were four speeds. Absolutely. But what else is really amazing on this car, they ordered it with leather, not vinyl, yeah. power windows, tilt yeah. wheel, telescopic wheel, yeah. AM FM radio, and AC. So a lot of the guys ordered the big block cars to go fast, but you can go fast and have fun in this car with 390 horsepower. This car's got a ton of options. And it is numbers matching. That's great. Yeah, anytime you, you, anytime we're talking big block, convertible, air conditioning, and highly options. Yeah, you got my attention. All right, well let's jump off to another one that's extremely rare with AC. 1970 GTO convertible, Ram Air 3, four speed, one of 174. Yeah, extremely rare. Anytime you're talking about a, a, a GTO convertible with a Ram Air 3 and a four speed, like you said, 174 of those built. Right. I believe the experts in our conversation, the experts believe um, around maybe 24 of them had factory air conditioning. I have seen in two different forums that the two top guys, which everybody knows who's the, who they are, there's no definitive number. The 174 number is definitive. That's correct. But they both say 24 with that. But here's what's great about this car. Not only is it that rare, one of 24, color combination is very unusual, Baja Gold, Baja Gold top, Baja Gold parade boot with sandalwood interior. Yeah, it's a beautiful contrast. You know, the, the exterior color, it's, uh, it, it's, it is a little bit of a, a lighter shade, but, but a color, but it is a little darker shade of that. So I like it with the contrasting sandalwood interior. Four speed air conditioning convertible. Man. Well, let's just keep on going for a second. Well, now also, <laughs> great thing about this car. Okay. This car is selling on Saturday. Prime time. Okay. Best part of the auction, lot 710. So again, we start at noon on Saturday with lot 600-ish. Okay. That's where we'll, we're going to start. So this car is going to run sometime, I tell you, probably the three to four o'clock range. So. And I tell you what, spot. how often do you have the chance to buy a Ram Air 370 GTO convertible four speed with air and no reserve? Less than pretty rare. <laughs> they rarely even come up. But what else is amazing about this car is again, like this LS5, this is an extremely high option car. 
You can even hear the buzzer still working. Buzzer works. Isn't that awesome? You got the eight track. So look at this, power windows. Yeah. Remote driver's mirror. Now the eight track was added by the second owner. Gauges. Yeah. Power steering, power brakes, AC, power top. You know, Dennis, one thing I'm, I'm noticing here, seeing the car in person versus just the photos that you send it. Right. Is, this thing is straight. Really yeah, straight. This is a nice, clean, well put together car. Somebody's, you know, Pontiac collector, or I tell you what, the thing about these cars over the years that, that you really don't appreciate until you drive one is actually is how good they actually drive for a 70 muscle car. I'm going to stretch this a little bit. Some guys might cringe a little bit. I think they drive on par with a Trans Am. Yeah. They drive that good. Yeah, they're incredible driving cars. And the sandalwood interior, this is one of the coolest carpet sets, I think, out there. Yeah, like it's this. almost like fond beige in a Corvette. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great look. Like Beautiful said, interior. You look underneath here, you see the Ram Raider pole? That's money. Let's look under the hood. Now, the history of this car, as far back as I can get it, I got it back to 1984. This car was painted sometime in the 1990s. Okay. Now, what I like about that is, look at it. You, you, you see exactly what you're getting on the car that's been painted that long. Any issues or problems are going to come They're out. Gonna be there. You're going to know what you're buying. Well, it it's, it has stood up extremely well. Yeah. Is this a national show winning car? No. Is it a killer forty six thousand mile car? Absolutely. I think so. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think we might do a little detail before he goes to the sale. Okay. I'll let you pull on that. Oh, let me set this down. When you open the hood, you see that foam and all yeah. the Ram stuff, it just gives you butterflies. Yeah, you know, one thing looking at it is just, you can just tell how original it is and just, it, it just has a good patina. So you, um, you, you know we, you're you, buying a legit, honest car. You think we leave it like that, the 46,000 miles, or we go in and clean it up? Well, I, I think you clean it up a little bit just from the standpoint of you want to have it retail ready for the masses whenever yeah. they walk up and see it, you know. Uh, some buyers don't understand some of this, you know, the patina and the originality aspect. So I think you just have it all clean and tidy. I think you're good to go. Did I mention this is a numbers matching car? You did not, but that's incredible. How important is that for Ram Air 3? I mean, you know, you start ticking all the boxes whenever you're talking about a Ram Air 3 GTO convertible, four speed, AC, numbers matching. I mean, you're talking about a car that, regardless of your knowledge base or where you're at, you know, and in, in, in getting into old cars, this is a car you can buy with confidence, stick it away, and it's it's just going to be a car that's just going to, you know, it's money in the bank. You just can't find it. No, absolutely. I mean, would you put this in the blue chip holy grail category? Well, I'm not going to go to the holy grail area, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. That this is a very, very, very good place to park money if you want to have a nice classic that's going to appreciate over time. I, I looked around, and right now, there's not one on the market. Well, they only built 174 of these to begin with. <laughs> yeah, right? I and think the guys, that, and the guys that have these know what they have. For sure. Like I said, you drive one of these, you're going to be an instant fan. They're incredible cars. And then just that's, that's, that's probably why you don't see a lot of them for sales. A lot of people that have them, especially in cars like this condition with these options. But again, good paperwork. You got the PHS paperwork. Yeah. You guys got to come see this car. It is no reserve. Last but not least, here's a car that I special ordered myself so i've been following the hellcat platform since day one yep. richard and i were lucky enough to do the promo commercials for it you know i have my 71 oh, yeah. hemi challenger racing the original serial number one hellcat yep. so from day one i've been into these cars i've ordered many of them i've had the super stocks i had a uh, demon number car 34 yep. uh, i've got a demon 170 coming in but this car is very very special yeah. so my choice was get one of the 300 black ghosts or get one of the last called jailbreaks and special ordered myself with my options. Yeah. Well, I went with the last call jailbreak and here's why. I got a one off car. Yeah. Not a one of 300 cars, which ghosts are fantastic. But if you want one of one car that I actually ordered, picked it up, traded it here, it's got 11 miles on it. So, what's special about this car, as I said, this is a last call car, which means these are built at the very tail end of production. And by the way, production's over. That's it. They're done. Okay, they're done. Which is so it's hard to believe. 
It is hard, hard to believe. I am sad, 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 sad. These are some of the most incredible, I'm going to even use the term muscle cars of late, that have ever been built. Dodge well, knocked it out of the park when they built these cars. So to me, this is our opportunity, and I did it many, many times because I love these cars. This is our opportunity to get a 71 Hemi Cooper. Yeah. Not a 70, a 71. So as you know, the very last cars, the jailbreak cars, this is 807 horsepower. Why is it 807? Because the original Demon was 808, and they couldn't trump that. <laughs> but you go drive a Demon on the street, that's tough. Drag ship's fantastic. You can drive this thing anywhere you want to go, and it'll go faster than you want to go, and they are absolutely brutal. Yeah. So like I said, this car's got 11 miles on it. Another key factor for some of the buyers out there, this car is titled. It's not an MSO. Okay, I went good. ahead and titled it. So it does have back seat. And then we, we grab the option list over here. This is the boxes I chose to check. So the jailbreak option, just for the jailbreak option itself, the 27D was 15,600 bucks. So that, so that puts you in the category for the 807 horsepower. And then that gave you the opportunity to order it the way you wanted it. So I got the driver's convenience group, which is $1,295. I got the Harman Kardon audio group, which I rarely got because I always bought these cars to drive fast, which is $2,000. Unbelievable stereo it system. Is. I went with the eight-speed automatic because it shifts so fast. Automatic technology is so good today, especially. It's hard to beat. But I mean, unless you just are one of those people that got to have a manual transmission or whatever. Well, they, they didn't offer these in the six-speed. But I'll, I'll I'm going to say a bold statement out there, and here's I know this because I spent several days at the drag strip in these. If you've got a six-speed Hellcat. Not only are they crazy rare, they will beat an automatic. Here's why. You start off in second gear. That's how I always did it. I won many, many races in my six-speed car. Very interesting. But I never told anybody how I did <laughs> So, but they're very, very rare. So again, we got the eight-speed torque like automatic. Got the black hood pin kit, which you saw me pull. Got the black brake calipers. And this is the way I think the car should look. I think black is the ultimate color in a muscle car. It's back in the day, black was one of the rarest colors. It was. Uh, a lot of people didn't check that box for whatever reason back in the day. They liked green a lot. There was blue. a lot of greens. <laughs> Lots and of golds. Blue, blue, golds, greens. Uh, but black. Now, you, you, did it, you did it right. It's a, it's a great color combination. And I think it'd be hard to find someone who doesn't agree with your selection of uh, how you put this car together. And here's what else you want to see when you're looking for. These are all investment grade. But if you're really getting down to the, to the nut cutting of what's rare and what's not. You want to look at this badge, and you want to see if it was one of the last ones built. You, of course, you got a last call badge. Yep. And also, it's always nice to see that green belt. You know, the great thing about this car is it is selling at our inaugural New Orleans auction held September 28th to the 30th at no reserve. This car is a lot 673. It's selling prime time on Saturday. Like I said earlier, we start about noon. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the only Hellcat powered car in the sale. From what I know right now, it's the only one I'm aware of. Here's why. People know how collectible these cars already are and gonna be, yeah. and they've already put them in their collections and they're keeping them. And that is why I didn't drive this particular car. Again, it's got 11 miles on it, it's titled, it's ready for your collection. This is the way I like them, black on black. Beautiful. So there you have it. This is our selection for Barrett Jackson. Again, the days are Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This one runs on Friday. GTO runs Saturday. Saturday. Challenge runs on Saturday. Yep. Now let's go get some lunch. You hungry? Absolutely. Let's find out one of these cars, the air conditioner working in it, and let's, <laughs> let's jump in it. Okay. <laughs> so, so since Mike is our visitor, and he's not crazy familiar with restaurants around here, even though we've eaten a few, we went with Kelsey's recommendation, which is Creekside Fine Grill in Wiley, which is a brand new restaurant. Kelsey's been here, Kim's been here, they said it's great. We're gonna start off with all seven starters. How's that sound? Let's go all in, baby. You hungry? Let's do it. Okay, we've done a lot of all ins in few Arizona, all -ins. haven't we? Yes, we have. All right, let's do another one. Yum, hot yum, crab dip, yum. okay. That, that is the hot good. crab dip with pita, deviled eggs. Very nice. Well, I was on a diet, Dennis. 
<laughs> you didn't look like you were on one in Auburn. Yeah, I know. When you recommended, <laughs> a, when you recommended a bigger shirt. That's <laughs> right. Well, I'm sorry. This is going to be your chicken quesadilla and your Brussels sprout and shishito peppers. Thank you. So, seeing mahi in Wiley is a rare sighting. This will be a nice sighting. Is it a native fish? Like, no, it's not. <laughs> Salmon's pretty rare in Wiley, too. Yeah. And I'm not a white chicken. Looks good. I don't know why I got white chicken, but I did. I think it was a chicken broccoli thing. Yeah. It's supposed to be healthy. Thank you, sir. Alright, let's try it out. I've already had salmon this week. I can't say that I've had mahi this week. I definitely ran chicken. It's good? It's really Alex, nice. you got a cedar plank? I did. So far, it's good. Yeah, I, I would, like it. I'd, What'd I'd you be, order, Zach? Get this again. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Chicken pond. So you'd order that again? Mm. For sure. Beautiful. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Carlos Brothers founded in 1984, 39 years. We've never had fine dining in Wiley. Now we got it. Looks good, ma'am. Good. Y'all enjoy. I'll Tastes come great. back around with some water, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I think, uh, Dennis, I think I might visit more often. Bring it. <laughs> we got Scottsdale coming up, right? We do, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, I think it's going to be crazy. We, we already have, the interest is off the hook. We've got amazing cars. You know, we're selling a, a LaFerrari, a one-of-a-kind LaFerrari. In Scottsdale. In Scottsdale. Yeah. Wow. There's some really, really special cars coming to Scottsdale. So. You know what's incredible? Alex is thinking about finishing his Challenger nope. and bringing it to Scottsdale. Let's go. No uh, pressure, Alex. No pressure. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. The Z. All right. Well, how was it, Mr. McCullough? That was awesome. It was amazing. Like I said, I'm probably become a regular fixture uh, in Wiley, hanging out at the shop and coming here for lunch. So he got mahi. I did. He got salmon. I got the Hawaiian. I'd get the mahi again if it's really good. Everything, everything was good. Uh, yeah. If I had to put a ranking on the uh, appetizers, I gotta tell you, I thought the meatballs were amazing. The shrimp was amazing. The dip was amazing. Like those three were. Oh, they're great. all great. Yeah. Dev links are great with the bacon on top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But what's unusual is in Wiley, Texas, we've never had fine food. And now we got it. So we'll be here a lot. All right. See you guys later. All right. Well, how's the drive? Drive's great. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I love these GTOs. I mean, I told you the 70s handle like a Trans Am. Yeah, they do. Fast, too, isn't it? I haven't beat on it. Oh, well, I have it. It's fast. <laughs> 366 horsepower. Yeah. You know, as we've talked, there's one of 174, one of 24 with AC. Uh, here's some stuff I haven't shown you. Got this from PHS, Jim Madison. Cool. Uh, that is a reproduction window sticker, but that's exactly what was on the car when it left the factory. Build sheet showing it is, in fact, a Ram Air 3 car with a four speed. Yeah. Really, really cool. Here's this production sheet. You know, as I said, only 174 were built, 400 Ram Air 3 four speeds. Right. And he doesn't definitively have this, but I've talked to a couple of big guys that are into Pontiacs. I didn't talk to them, I read some of the forums. Say so only 24 of them had air. I bet. So, now the one thing we could not find for this car was a gold top. When you look at this paperwork, this car did not come with a sandalwood convertible top. It came with a gold convertible top. Which is cool. Which is still on the car. Uh, it's old, probably should be replaced. I didn't replace it, because you know I am about convertibles. Yeah. Seeing an original gold top, or what I believe is the original top, it looks like it is. The power top mechanism works right, goes up and down just like it's supposed to. It does. We did find an NOS gold parade boot, which is yeah, insanely rare. Cool. That's really cool. Uh, sandalwood interior is beautiful. But I want to see what you did under the hood because you just did this. I did. Uh, when Mike was out and uh, from Barrett Jackson, we showed the engine bay as we found it, which we believe is you know forty six thousand mile car. We elected to go ahead and service it. So you did the fluids, right? All the fluids kind of freshened it up. You know, made it look the part since the car is actually a really nice car. So yeah. you, you Alex Steam cleaned the motor. Yeah. Uh, touched up the paintwork on the motor. 
But the big thing we did actually, it drove pretty good, but you went ahead and rebuilt the carburetor. I did. Okay. It drives a lot better actually. So, I mean, this car near as we could tell, um, the last title was 84. The last registration was 04, but it hadn't been driven in those years. Yeah. And then the prior owner told me he thought it was driven in the late 90s. So there was a lot going on. So we just decided to go through it. Yeah. Um, trunk compartment had the original spare in it, right? So these are the original wheels on this car. So, right, the original wheel. Not then the we tire. went went ahead and got a BFG to match what's on the car, right? Yeah, just makes it look. So trunk compartment is presentable. Yeah. Obviously, the rear wheel looks great because Alex restored it. But I haven't driven it since you did the carburetor, so you'll like it. All right, let's go. The reverse lockout still hooked up, isn't it? Yep, still works. So this car's got to be in reverse to get the key out. It's really neat. The car hadn't been monkeyed with. Listen to that, starts right up. The gauges are working, tack's working. Healthy sound in Ram Air 3. Wow, you got this dialed in, Alex. Idle's great. Open that door, let's go for a ride. So this is one of the best parts of the job, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's, it's an honor to own them this rare. I don't know that we'll ever own another Ram Air 3 four-speed 70 GTO convertible. Yeah. I sure hope so, but I highly doubt it. So, especially with the AC, since there's only 24 of them. But man, this car idles great, sounds great. It's amazing how well they drive being this old. Yeah. I mean, this is a muscle car that's going to be good to drive forever, in my opinion. This is not going to get outdated. But it's an honor just to get to drive something like this. Showing 44,330 miles. Tax working. All the gauges are working. Now, it does have an aftermarket Bose cassette. I elected to keep that in there. I mean, if somebody frets over that, you can go on eBay and find your Pontiac radio. Yeah. Uh, the eight track was added by one of the owners in the past. The eight track is not on the build sheet. Man, it just shifts beautifully too. It's tight. Yeah, I mean, it's a tight car. So you didn't really have to fight much on this car, did you? Not really. Just uh, just serviced everything on it. Just checked it over. Well, I mean. From talking to the past owners of this car, this car has always been in the garage. People always knew it was a special car. When we found it, not only was it in a nice garage, it had a cover on it. So, dash is beautiful. It is. So I, I, I do have the build sheet and we'll get Zach to post that so some people can see the actual particulars on this car. This car's got a 323 Posi in it. Highway gears. Highway gears. I would be willing to bet that this car almost bury that Speedo every yeah, bit of probably. that 140. What do you think? <laughs> Absolutely. Because it's pretty long. You can tell, I mean, I downshift in second. So somebody ordered this car to go fast on the highway, not, a, not actually you know, as a drag car, but it's so unusual to see a Ram Air car, not only with AC, but power windows, power top. A comfort car. Power yeah. steering, power, yeah, they ordered this car like a comfort car, but it's a go fast four speed Ram Air car. Yeah. noise. The motor's great in this car. 
You know what, Alex? Good job. We rescued another one. Thank you. Let's get it get out there. And I, I predict that this goes to somebody's serious collection. Oh, 100%. You ready for the next one? Absolutely. All right, let's go. As always, please like, tag, share, and follow. But most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week.